Good morning students. Today we are going to do talk and listen activity of chapter 6 and chapter 8. Let's start with chapter 6. Talk giving advice. This activity teaches you how to give advice. If you wish to give somebody some advice then how you should say the sentences of that that you can learn from here. My stomach starts aching when I eat too much. You should not overeat. My eyes start hurting when I read. You must get your eyes checked. Now work in pairs for this activity. To make a pair, you may take help of your friends or your family members. Given below are some statements. Your partner reads out a statement from column A. So with whomever you are working, you have to tell that person to read statements from column A. You have to use must or should along with the correct statements from column B and give appropriate advices. Then you have to use sentences from column B and along with those sentences you have to use words like must or should. Let's start. Now suppose your partner says, my brother has hurt his knee. Means my brother's knee is injured. Then you may say, he should put some medicine and tie a bandage. What is he supposed to do then? He should put some medicine on that injury and he should tie a bandage. Then if the first person says that I am very hungry. You can give advice and say you should eat some fruits. Then if someone says I am not feeling well. You can give advice and say you must go to a doctor. When someone is not feeling well, he or she should go to a doctor. If a person says Ritu has not scored good marks in the test. Then you can give advice and say, You must study hard. Sorry, she must study hard for the next test. So if Ritu, and not just Ritu, but if anyone has not scored good marks in exams, then he or she should study hard for the next test. If someone says, It is raining heavily. You can say, you should take an umbrella with you. If someone says, I want to buy a new toy. You can say, you should save your pocket money. If you wish to buy a new toy, what should you do? You should save some money. Now, you have to listen carefully to this poem so that you may answer the question that is asked in reference to this poem. I run, I ride, I read and write, I pick, I pull, I fly a kite, I open and close, I touch my nose, I carry a sledge in case it snows, I give a gift, I tell a tale, I see a sign, I shout for sale, I clean, I wash, I eat so I'll grow, who makes my food? I want to know. So here in the poem it is being said that I run and I write. I read and I write. I pick something. I pull something. I fly a kite. Means I am doing lots of activities. I open and close. And I touch my nose. I carry a sledge. Have you seen a Santa Claus? You know that is Santa Claus. He travels on a sledge. So here it is being said that if there is snow. In case of that, I carry a sledge and I give a gift and I tell a tale means I tell a story. I see a sign and I shout for sale. So on the sign it is written for sale. I clean, I wash and I eat. Why do I eat? So that I can grow up. Who makes my food? I want to know. So this is the poem. Now the question that is asked is, Listen to the poem and tick write the action words that you hear. So all the words given here from 
these words we have to find out the action words which are in, used in the poem and then we have to tick them first run then yes run word is used so we will tick it second food food word is also there in the poem but it is not an action word third wash yes it's an action word and it is used in the poem four open yes open is also an action word and is used in the poem five pick pick is an action word and is used in the poem six snows snows is an action word and is used in the poem seventh see that word is also in the poem and is also an action word eight nose nose is there in the poem but it is not an action word nine fly and ten write both these words are used in the poem and they are action words now let's do the talk activity of chapter number eight asking for permission when you wish to take permission from someone how should you ask read the following sentences may i come in yes you may mother can i go out to play with my friends no you cannot given above are the expressions for asking permissions however it is not necessary that permission will always be granted so we can see here the sentence is may i come in and mother can i go out to play with my friends these two sentences are used for asking permissions but every time permission is not granted work in pairs figure out how you will ask for permission in the following situations so here you are given situations and from using those situations how are you going to ask for permission that you have to figure out you have to work in pairs again you may take help of your friends or family members first one you need company for going to museum you have to ask your friend you wish to visit a museum but you need company of someone you want someone to be with you so you have to ask your friend so how can you ask you may say can you accompany me to the museum and to that your friend may reply yes i can as i am free today second you want to buy a new volleyball you have to ask your mother so you may ask mother can i buy a new volleyball to that your mother may reply yes sure now second asking for help read the following sentences when you wish to ask for someone's help how can you ask see example is given can you finish this work for me please so you are asking someone that can you do this work for me okay i will the above expression is for asking help work out the given situations and ask for help again you have to form pairs so you may take help of your family member or your friend and the situation over here is you need help to complete your project and you have to ask your sister so you can ask can you help me with this project and your sister may say okay i will second situation is you need help to find your science book you have to ask your mother so you may ask can you help me to find my science book and your mother may say yes sure now you have to listen to this small story very carefully then few questions are asked so that you may answer them a mouse was very hungry he could find no food he became very thin one day he found a basket full of corn there was a small hole in the basket and he crept in then he began to eat the corn being very hungry he ate a great deal and went on eating and eating he grew very fat now he decided to get out 
but he found that he could not as he had become very fat so over here in the story it is being said that a mouse there was a mouse who was very hungry and he was unable to find any food and he started becoming very thin one day he found a basket which was full of corn and there was a small little hole in the basket so he crept in the basket through that hole and then he started eating he went on eating and eating and because he ate so much he became very fat and then he wanted to get out of that basket but he was unable to do so why because he had become very fat now we are asked few questions see question 1 why did the mouse become thin what was the reason the mouse became thin because he could find no food mouse was unable to find any food and that's why he had become thin second what did he find one day one day he found a basket full of corn third what was inside the basket there was a small hole inside the basket fourth how did he get inside the basket answer he got inside the basket through a small hole he went into the basket through that hole five what happened to the mouse after he ate the corn after eating the corn the mouse became very fat today we are keeping till here thank you